Jerry is just the best thing ever happened to me in my life. She's been like an angel, I mean. She doesn't have to do what she's done for me, but she took it upon herself to help me. I first became aware of Dennis when his name appeared on my census. Every day I'm checking on those patients and making absolutely sure that their health care needs are being met. Jerry absolutely knew the medical challenges that Dennis had. And so she was determined to make contact with this member because she knew she could help him. But we had a lot of trouble trying to locate Dennis. I decided to see if I can track him down. I called the pharmacy where Dennis had prescriptions filled. They provided an address. So I drove to the home on file, and a young lady answered the door, and she said, uh, he doesn't live here. Uh, he's homeless. He lives in the woods um, near the Killam Creek area. I had a stroke, and my sister helped take care of me. Then she died, so I just started staying anywhere I could because I just didn't have nobody. Or, no way to live. I was not going to be able to rest peacefully knowing that this is where he was sleeping. We talk often about meeting our members where they are, and that's exactly what she did. This is the exact location where I first saw Dennis holding up a sign asking for help. I don't know how she found me. But when Jerry asked me to come over and talk to her for a minute, and I said, sure. The first thing she did was invite him to lunch. She was able to take him to a diner, sit down, and start building that trust. One thing that he did smile about was this relationship that he had with his godson, Jacob. Jacob has been everything I could ask for if he'd been my own son. And I want to be the daddy that he never had. Dennis had type 2 diabetes, cancer, and he was treated for depression. I told him that Jacob needs a healthy godfather that is going to be there for him. Over the next 45 minutes, we were able to complete our person-centered support plan. It's a key part of what we do at Anthem to get him back on the road to better health. Uh, of course, housing was at the top of the list. If you don't have housing, you're not worrying about what your blood sugar levels are. You're not worrying about your blood pressure. We were able to contact the local housing authority and there was a unit available. So we were celebrating in the parking lot. In two days, he could move into a residence in Newport News. Hey, how buddy. you doing? I attend every primary care appointment. When his doctor asked him questions, he would look at me for answers. That's probably the prescription that's waiting at the pharmacy for you. Could be. Okay, so I, I have a hard time remembering. And that's why I'm here. Anthem included in his care plan, access to a primary care provider, access to specialty care, yeah, guys, any questions, so just and all of the other long-term support services, like the support person that he depends on every day. Ready? One, two, three. They help me bathe, wash clothes, cook meals. Transportation is a big challenge in this population. And so we'll take you to the pharmacy to fill your prescriptions. We'll also take you to a grocery store so you can buy fresh vegetables and healthy foods. I'm a great cook, so okay. you know you're gonna add a little weight on. That'd be fine. Once you empower patients, they really take ownership of their health and feel in charge again. I feel better. Come on, buddy. On Sundays, I'll get cleaned up and go to Jacob's house, watch him ride his bicycle. He holds my hand when I'm walking. You're my boy. I think Dennis' whole life has really changed as a result of Jerry's intervention. He ain't got the wings, but he could get them if he went to Appleton Day. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't see myself as an angel, but I'm happy and grateful that he continues to take control of his health care. The person such a support plan really works. <laughs> I just can't say how much I thank her for what she's done for me.